Hello and welcome to my 24th video introducing my new book Debugging Shakespeare. In the last video we looked at several of the Bard's Nantwich based aliases including Sir Ranulf Crewe of Crewe Hall. In this video I am going to show that Sir Francis Bacon who many consider to have been the true author of Shakespeare's works was actually the same character as the judge Sir Thomas Richardson and his son who allegedly succeeded him as MP for St Albans. I believe that Richardson was also the same character as Sir Ranulf Crewe of Crewe Hall near Nantwich whom he succeeded as Speaker of the House of Commons. Richardson was also the same character as Sir Richard Hutton and his son who he succeeded as Chief Justice of the Common Pleas in 1626. There is a clue in his first name. One could say that Richardson rose like a phoenix from the burnt ashes of his former three aliases, at least in the parliamentary constituencies and several officers of state that they held. In fact, there is another clue to Richardson's rebirth because his second wife was allegedly Elizabeth Beaumont, the widow of Sir John Ash Burnham of Stoughton. Fried bacon can be thought of as burnt ham too. Sir Ranulf Crewe was born in Nantwich, Cheshire, and Richardson was supposedly born in Norwich, coincidentally another town with the word witch in it, like the more northerly town of Nantwich, which is only 18 miles distance from Great Yarmouth, where three of the Bard's Nantwich-based suspected aliases had some business, including Sir Ranulf Crewe. Julian's Herring of Rembury, Nantwich, departed on his flight from Great Yarmouth, and Geoffrey Whitney, the poet, was under bailiff of Great Yarmouth, supposedly in opposition to Robert Dudley, who we saw in an earlier video with a hidden ewer in the feather of his, of his hat. I believe a further 27 suspected bard aliases allegedly coincidentally had some association or other with Great Yarmouth, and I think it may have something to do with Devour, the word for yard in the Czech language pronounced Devura. Richardson was allegedly knighted because he notified King James that Sir Giles Wompression had censured, been censured for corrupt practices. It proved to be his undoing, or King's Log as it was known, and he was not re-elected again. A King's Log is based on one of Aesop's fables where the frogs wanted a king but instead ended up with a heron or a water snake. The timelines of Dodd, Crewe, Richardson, Hutton, Bacon and Underhill shown here reflect what may be the simplified version of history we should attribute to the Bard's aliases, taking into account sons of Richardson and Hutton. Thank you for watching. There will be many more videos like this in the near future. The only way to get a full appreciation of who the Bard really was is to buy my book. It is available only on Shopify. Please scan the QR code shown with your mobile and you will have a direct link to Shopify. Thank you.